hello everyone um welcome back to the channel so today i'll be showing you guys how i built this scene as you can see this is a scene um i use an atlas um image texture to um paint out or to texture out all this building so all this building are using a single gradient um texture but i want to use this in unity i want to use a single texture but then I also need shadow. So to get this with the shadow in Unity, I'll probably use the real time shadow. But then I don't want to do that. So I just want to bake the shadow in Blender and then export to Unity so that I can use a single texture in Unity without the um, stress of using shadow in Unity. So that is what I'll be showing you guys today. So let's get right to it. You see that all these buildings are modular. If I should just extract this part, yeah. So all these buildings are just pieces that we are put together. So and that is why they all have a single parent object here. So if I should select the parent, I can move the object around. So what we want to do is to combine all these together into a single mesh. So to do that, all we need to do now, I will just match them one by one. Now we have a single piece that we can bake into a texture. And if you can see this, the green, the gradient is still applied. So nothing is damaged yet. What we just did was to match our entire scene into a single mesh. So now with our single mesh, all we need to do now is to create the UV that we are going to bake our light to. So I'm going to go to the data property here and then I'm going to click on the UV maps. Now this is the default UV map. So this one is the one that I use to texture all this thing. I'm going to create a new UV map just like that. And then I'm going to go to the UV editing right here. So I'm going to click on seven just to view it from the top. So this is the existing UV map. So now what I want to do now is to create a new UV map that will contain the shadow and we also contain the color with your new UV selected. All you need to do now is to select everything by with A on the keyboard and then click on U. Now, so there are this option we have on wrap, we have um light map pack so what you need to select here is the light map pack so when you click on this and then you select ok so blender is going to pack all your uv into a single type so this is my material the entire mesh here is using a single material so all i need to do here is just to create a new image that i want to bake to so i'm going to click on shift a search for image texture and then i'm going to create an image so i'm going to call this big now this there are several options you can use your image in 1k or 2k i'm going to make mine 2k so just to have enough quality you can make yours 5 one so you can make it 1k the choice is yours you can decide whatever it is you want to do with it so I'm going to click on new image and then when you click here, you can see your big image. This is going to be black. Now, the next thing that we need to do now is to configure the lighting. So this is where we we'll get to set up how the shadow is going to appear, how bright the scene is going to be. All right. So now we can set up our, our light and see what our scene will look like. Well, before then, I want to go into the render mode to see what my scene actually looks like. All right, so this is the render mode. We don't have any light here, and this is how the environment is lit. Not very dark and not very bright either. Let's add a light to our scene. So I'm going to click on Shift A, and then I'm going to add a light. I'm going to add a sun, and then I'm going to bring the sun upward. I just a little now this does not affect how the light appear what really matters is the rotation not the position of the sun the sun can be anywhere in the scene 
so this is what we have in our scene so sun is a little bit bright but this is not this looks more like a night or evening so yeah i'm going to tilt the sun a little bit to light the scene a little um, just a little bit i'm just going to rotate this forward a little all right so if you can see this you will see there is a little shadow here so just because of the direction i'm facing the light so this depends on you anyhow you want your scene to be lit this is that is how you are going to direct the sun so let me take this a little yeah i think yeah i think i'm good with this i'm good with this so why this one is selected i'm going to come to the light property and then i'm going to increase the strength of the sun let's see two so you can see our scene is getting brighter let's try three let's see what we get okay so this is what we have with our sun sets to three yeah so this is not bad this is not bad this is not bad uh, let me just push it to four and see what we get okay yeah i think this is enough for an afternoon scene yeah this is not not bad for an afternoon scene so currently i'm rendering in ev but we can't bake in ev so i'm going to switch to circle but i just prefer to set up my scene in ev so that when i switch to circle I can just bake directly so i think this is nice we are good to go with this so i'm going to switch from ev to circle now to see what i get so this is what i get rendering in circle all right so i'm going to click on my object and then i'm going to select the image i want to bake to and then I'm going to select the object in the 3D scene. Now we have our big setting. Now the higher this is, the more quality we get. So by default, we have 1024, 1K, and then max sample 1496. So most of the time, I just like to keep this to the lower value to get a quick result. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be baking at um, 32 or 64. So let me divide this by 4 see what we get so we have 256 which is a little bit high but yeah we can give this a try and then i'm going to divide this by eight and then we have five one two years so i'm going to select this denoise just to reduce just to reduce the noise so i think that is all we need here now i'm going to the big section so this is where we configure or we set what we want so i'm going to click on um, diffuse so I'm going to select the diffuse and then i'm going to pick direct and direct and color and then i think that is all we need to set our scene up and prepare it for baking so now with this selected with the image selected and then with the uv map 2 selected which has the light map, the light map pack selected. All we just need to do is to click on bake. And then we wait for the magic. So this is done baking and this is the result I have. See that we have this, um, this messy image here, but this contains our shadow data and then our color data. So now what I need to do now is to apply this bake image as our base color and then see the result. So, so this is the result. Uh, let me switch back to EV. Now you will see this messy scene because this is using the wrong UV. Now when I select this UV as the active UV and we get this. So I'm going to turn off the lights so that you can see what we have. 
so this is our scene with the shadow dick now if we get this scene to be a little bit dark that's probably the word is dark so i'm going to go to the word settings i'm going to increase this color of the word itself now with that done we can see our scene so yeah i don't have a light but i have shadow and then i have colors so that is how you bake your that is how you bake your scene now i can export this image i can export this image to unity and then i can connect the material to this and then we get this scene in unity well before then i probably need to get rid of this uv map because i don't need it anymore so the only uv map i need is this one so um let me quickly boot up unity and show you guys what this scene look like in unity all right so i want to export this mesh to unity and then so before the before that i need to get rid of this uv map so i'm going to remove this and then i'm going to rename this to uv map so we only have just one uv map so i need to select the mesh and then export so i'm using a unity exporter i'm going to add the link down in the description so i'm going to select and then export so i just export the mesh now if you have not saved your baked image yet you can just click on um, n and then come to the image section and then save your image so i'm going to unity now and import all my export so i already imported the texture so i'm going to bring in the mesh so this is the mesh and this is what we have in unity so there is no real time shadow yet so my directional light shadow this is just shadow i'm going to turn off shadow so there is no shadow then i'm going to increase the emission set this to color then increase the intensity let's set it to three hi guys so this is ayo from the future so i was editing the video and then i feel i need to say this so if you bake your scene and then you notice that there is some dark shadow maybe your scene is not properly lit or it's just too dark for your liking so let me show you what i mean so this is unity so let me show you guys the difference again this is the first one this is the second one so let me show you a quick fix for that so if you notice that um, error all you just need to do is to go to the world and then increase the lighting in the world so i'm going to set it to a little bit bright and then this is the sun i reduce the sun brightness to two so with this set all you just need to do now is to click on bake so you can bake it back into the image and then you have a properly lit scene so that is just what I want to point out concerning that. Thank you.